Hey, what's up guys? This is Arm Malieri and I'm back with a new review for you today with the QNAP TS451 network attached storage device. It is the best in its class in my opinion. Uh, it comes from QNAP, a company that specializes in uh, everything from consumer level to uh, server class types of storage devices. I've uh, done a lot of research between them, Drobo and Synology, and I finally decided that these guys offer the best value in this particular uh, class of NAS, which is for home use. Uh, it's going to come with a dual core 2.4 uh, gigahertz Intel Celeron processor, which has native hardware encoding built in. Uh, so when you go to stream your medium files, it's that processor is going to encode those for you on the fly with hardware. So it's going to be pretty fast and really good quality. It can handle up to five streams of HD video on the fly like that. Uh, I can upgrade it to 8 gigs of RAM, which is what I plan on doing. It also has uh, a ton of apps you can download from the QNAP App Store uh, for things like uh, DVR surveillance of IP cams, uh, Plex Media Server, mail servers, uh, web servers, you can host your own websites. Uh, it does Apple Time Machine, uh, Windows Crash Plan, there's tons of other backup softwares you can use with it. So in my use case, I'm going to use this for, uh, you know, redundancy data backup at home. And then uh, I'm going to snapshot stuff that I have on here and take that offsite. So, you know, even though it's a great uh, four bay uh, RAID box, which offers uh, RAID redundancy, software RAID redundancy, uh, you still need to have some sort of um, comprehensive redundant plan that includes something offsite. So with this box, you can do RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, RAID 6, and RAID 10. Uh, so you can choose what you think is the best fit for you. Uh, personally, I think I'm going to go with a RAID 1. The box also offers uh, caching of the read-write operations with a solid-state drive. So I've gotten a Samsung 840 Pro SSD here to try and see how the performance is improved by caching some of those things through the SSD. For the actual drives, I'm going to be using the Western Digital Red 4 terabyte uh, NAS rated drive. So uh, I have three of them so far, which I'm going to test with some caching. And if the cache isn't uh, a big enough benefit, I'll probably revert to having all four bays uh, with four terabyte drives. So uh, that should be plenty. But again, remember, guys, if you don't have a backup plan right now and you're thinking about going with the a NAS box, uh, please consider having something off site to also back this up. Because, you know, although you may have a cool RAID setup, uh, if, God forbid, uh, you know, the box melts or catches on fire and your drives are toast, you, you know, you need to have something to fail over onto. But as far as the box itself goes, uh, it comes with dual gigabit ports for Ethernet, so you can use those in link aggregation or uh, use them for failover. Uh, it also has the power to virtualize operating systems, so you can run Windows 7, Linux, uh, or Unix on it uh, just right off the NAS without another computer. Uh, so if you decide to do that, you can use only one port for virtualization uh, and the other port for the NAS. You can't do link ag if you're going to uh, run virtualized uh, operating systems. Nonetheless, that's a really awesome feature. Again, I'm going to be running a 720p Foxcam network IP camera straight to this as a DVR. Uh, so, you know, all the way around uh, to have this is a great value because, uh, you know, I could easily spend what I spent on this on just a... Uh, surveillance system for the house so I'm getting all that and more uh, I'll put all of the links for you uh, in the description if you decide you want to set this up if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask also don't forget to give me a thumbs up if uh, you find my stuff informative it helps uh, with me creating content and uh, please do subscribe because I have tons of other awesome stuff coming up anyway without further ado I'm gonna get into the unboxing of the box and then uh, the RAM upgrade which uh, requires you to take it apart. And then I'll go through setting it up, configuring it, and showing you some of the things like the apps that you can install and the surveillance station that you can set up for your home. Uh, with, uh, with that being said, uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.